Okay, brother. Uh, actually, 10 kg per meter square of bipans is the minimum population. Yeah, we can reach actually 15 kg per meter square. So, if your bioponds, your set bioponds is 10 meter square, uh, perhaps you can increase your populations to 150 kg of maggots per set of uh, bioponds. Yeah. So for 100 meter squares of bioponds, divide to 10 groups. Each group is 10 meter squares. Actually, you can increase to 150 kg of maggots every day. So one kg, uh, 10 kg per meter squares is uh, minimum populations actually. And say uh, behind me is the bioponds. For the target 100 kg of maggots every day, we need at least 100 meter square of bioponds. Uh, and as I said to you, 100 meter square of bioponds. This is for productions. It means 100 uh, 100 meter squares divide into 10 groups. So each group will be 10 meter square. If this layer. My bioponds first layer is cement, yeah. But you can make uh, also uh, like this layer since uh, the first layer. So all the layers is wood like this. This is the choice, yeah. Uh, first layer, second, and third layers. Uh, we can arrange. We can make 10 meter squares for three layers. So per set like this, per set of bioponds. I have two sets here, yeah. first and second. So we can make first set. This layers is 10 meters square. So we have to prepare 10 set of the weapons like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So each day we harvest four from first set. Yeah, uh, one day one set we will harvest. One day 10 meters square. We will harvest one meter squares can make population 10 kg of maggots. So for 10 meter squares, it means 100 kg of larva. This is the second one, yeah. This is simply, yeah. We don't put any ram here, and this is for production. To harvest the prepupa, we can scope and separate the frost and the maggots. I'll show you the how we separate the fresh with the maggots. This is uh, by pond for productions. So you can see the difference between prepupa bioponds and uh, larva productions bioponds. Black soldier fly is gaining global attention. This type of fly is said to be the great solution to reduce organic waste. Not only that black soldier fly larvae could consume organic waste and eradicate our organic waste problems completely, but the black soldier fly larvae is also a great source of protein for our pets and animal stocks. Considering how environmentally friendly and relatively easy for one to build his or her own black soldier fly nursery, if you're interested in having your own black soldier fly nursery, come join us.